beautiful, bizarre, nerve-wracking, and not at all what you're expecting. Lamb is a unique story that touches on family, grief, and how animals are way closer to humans than we truly understand. This film is unlike anything I've seen in 2021, and it is a movie that will be on my mind for weeks to come. Unlike Titan, I'm not afraid to rewatch it. More so, I'm only waiting to dive headfirst again. Vladimir Johansson's strongly shepherded debut impressively twists the nursery rhyme, Mary Had a Little Lamb, into a bizarrely sweet comedic tragedy that chills as much as it warms. The way in which he mixes nature with the fantastical is truly astonishing. The gloomy fog-torn landscapes and stunning cloud-covered mountains cast an eerie spell. Johansson's lawn takes establish a strong sense of realism that's further bolstered by an even mixture of human and animal performances. Lamb had a fantastic first act, getting me pumped to actually see what will eventually happen, but as the film progressed and kept going, I found myself feeling dissatisfied at the end. While the reveal absolutely shocked me in the end, it still left me wanting more. Hypnotically engaging and confidently silent, this film relies on its excellent visual storytelling and creeptastic tone to translate its themes. As my fans know, I hate scary movies, and this was clearly being marketed as just that. The trailer gave me Midsommar vibes, and I was prepared to be terrified, but I was sort of disappointed that this was not a horror at all. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Lamb is a drama to the core, and it perfectly leads you into thinking something more horrific is coming. The sound in this movie is spectacular. If you ever have the opportunity to watch this on the big screen, I would highly recommend it. The sound design is what kept me tense and covering my eyes. It was loud and clear, and where I felt like something was around the corner. This film is not going to be for everyone though and especially for people who are expecting the new typical standard from an A24 horror film. I don't want to give away any of the plot. Suffice it to say, characters make poor choices and probably aren't asking enough questions about their situation in their haste to accept their newfound happiness, to their detriment. Seeing the shift in character from both parents is downright charming, and if not for the half-human, half-lamb child, this could almost play as a straight Icelandic drama about adoption. That being said, I can't think of the last time a movie made me this nervous for so long. There's no denying the care and attention to detail that went into crafting this oddball film, which results in a rare feeling for me. Slow tracking shots and ominous music kept me tense for most of the runtime, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Lamb is not at all what I anticipated, but turned out to be everything I was. It is a beautiful film, and it is worth experiencing in theaters. Tune in every Friday for new movie videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what other movies you would like me to do videos on. Thank you, Mom, for editing the scripts for my movie essays. I appreciate you. Till next time, thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side.